Can I just take a picture? No, okay. Hey, this is Big Sexy here. I don't know how long I was talking. Uh, we are at Sheboygan right now. Uh, because of the rain, we didn't really film at the asylum, although these guys braved it for the night game. Me, uh, Don, and Tall just said, fuck that. But yeah. these guys did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got Rogaine over here. We got Shaggy. He's not a Shaggy anymore. With, we got uh, Don Trump. And then, uh, yeah, we got... We yeah. lost we lost Jojo Rabbit or Elliot or the man of many names like man what, within the names. first hour. Yes, it's an unknown ailment. <laughs> Tall, Call, not, not, no coughing <laughs> or any of those. Symptoms, Pussy withdrawal. So. Tall is currently on the iron lug in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see. <laughs> All right. I'm tired. We got Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So you might hear his voice come in and out, and uh, oh, boy. the sound quality may not be as great because I didn't have the connection I needed for a mic that we normally use. So this is straight up GoPro mic. So I'm not sure how good this will be, but oh, you can just boost, like turn the volume of the audio. Yeah, I can. Yes. So what do you guys want? To, well, you I guess the one thing we, I definitely want to talk about soccer. Like, you had some specific things that you wouldn't talk about because you said you were shaving them for the Yeah, what was the funny oh, moment? Dude? Tonight, tonight at dinner, you... Or, yeah, you God, I'm trying to remember things. it now. You whispered in my ear, you I, said... I remember I Elliot being a tran mistaken for a train. Trans, that was oh, all that, that That's was actually hilarious. a good thing, though, too, but this goes... All right, uh... <laughs> you know, Sheboygan, we're at the... We're at the insane oh, asylum. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe we should wait till the end for that one. What, the... The worst part? Yeah, yeah, but say, say the worst for last. <laughs> that, that, that was one of the things I want to talk about. Was Don shined some light that maybe I started it? <laughs> well, other than the fact that he was doing what he was doing. Yep. <laughs> but I, I think I fanned the flames by accident because uh, apparently a lot of people I'm not are sensitive. interested in the sport, <laughs> <laughs> including uh, uh, all genders. You know, airsoft is for everybody. Yes. And it does not mean you can um, yeah, really um, use the bathroom wherever you choose. Well, he's <laughs> already started it. This guy started pissing about 20 feet away from us. I started joking about it at first. Yeah, partly I thought he was joking at first, and he actually started doing it. I don't know why you guys are yelling at that guy. <laughs> you guys got really... I don't know you know, why. Don't know why you're talking with that. <laughs> Like I really he thought, was literally twenty feet away. So I really thought he was joking at first. Was a female standing right behind us. L yeah. Literally, so wait, literally wait, wait, the wait, POV. Maybe, maybe, maybe we should explain, 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 explain the situation before we start talking about the details. It's hard to hmm. explain, dude. Like the guy started like, pissing twenty feet from where we spawned at, where we have our setup or ammo. Not and, just us though, but there was like five other people yeah, and was, the whole base, the main base, and there's four. Bodies, bro. There was actually a, a player uh, in front of him, which I don't think he actually knew, and this player also just happened to be female. And the interesting part was that he pointed out that you know there were no, no women. Girls. Yeah, because I, I said the reason why... Whoa, there goes Cody already. <laughs> no, the thing is, you know, like I'm saying, well, you know, I'd probably just piss anywhere if it was just a bunch of dudes, but there's women here. And he's like, there's no women here. Look at what we're doing. I said, there's women here, dude. Sure, sure. Now was it three women? We counted within like a behind minute. Behind the tree, yeah. right there. Yeah, oh yeah, you mean facing his like penis? Couple, yeah. Yeah. And then John brought up a good scene everywhere. And, and she's like, it was, nothing, it was nothing to brag about. And I'm like, oh. Ooh. And then Don brought well, up. A, she didn't see it. Don but. brought up a good point. Uh, he was like, "There's also kids here," and I'm like, "I didn't even think about the kids, you know, with my kids. mind." But yeah, there are kids here. One kid fucking smoked the hell out of me. I was like, "Whoa, yep. good for you." I almost but, ran right over one. There's a mosquito on that. Already? Oh, get it. Yeah, please a good get it. Like crazy. But, uh... <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless, dude was an asshole. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah... The, he started talking shit. 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 Very, very... No, but the thing is, it's it's player etiquette. Like, when he said, I'm going to yeah. piss over here. You know, for one... Player etiquette? How about just manners in general, yeah. bro? Just, dude, dude just sounded a little sauced. Just take... A just bit. take but a couple more it, You know, away, the thing though, is... Right, more, you know? I, I make jokes about trainees every now and then because I, I find it funny. You know, I don't really care if you are a trainee. It doesn't, I mean. hurt, it doesn't hurt me. It right. doesn't hurt anybody. Do no. what you want. 
but I'm going to think it's funny. I'm so sick of all these sins you can't joke about anymore. Right. You know, I feel like you should joke about anything. I call myself Big Sexy because I'm big and hot. (laughs) You know, like, fuck it, bro. Big and hot. Who cares? Things are funny. Like, it'd be one thing if I wanted to start saying you're a freak. But, you know, I'm I'm going to make jokes. But he was saying because I'm like, hey, yeah, we're not sure if it was a man or a woman. Yeah. Don said he saw her with him. Or yeah, she. The, the the one person who we thought was a transgender, their, their partner, we'll call it, was one of that gentleman's friends that he was conversating with. So I don't know if he took that kind of personal, mm-hmm. and that's what escalated it. Because he didn't get hostile until that comment came out. I don't want to speak on that too much. I'm just going to say this, and my thing is, is I don't want to have my child or myself continue to grow up in a world where I have to ask you your fucking pronoun. Yeah. So other than that, do what you want. Don't get mad if I call you a he or a she. Be understanding that I don't, I am I'm not I'm not I'm not negating that you are what you say you are. I'm saying that don't get mad at me because I'm not calling you, you for you're right. Yeah. Correct me properly Correct me. and then we're then you're on the same level, dude. I could care less. But if I make you know, and like Just I said, say, hey, I'm a girl or yeah, hey, I'm not a guy or but, whatever. Yeah. So the main thing what it comes down to though, just don't pee outside. Yeah, well, no, no, you can be outside. I think the weirdest thing about the whole scenario, bro, is that he didn't, he didn't, make, he didn't break eye contact yeah. with us. No, <laughs> he, he was like excited. We all looked away. Yeah, got it. I looked all... away and then I looked back to see if he was still looking <laughs> at me. He was. I was like, <laughs> and he was like, hey, you keep looking at it. It's like, this is the most action my dick's gotten in forever. That was so funny. It was so. Oh, my God. But yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I felt a little bad about it, but I'm like, at the end of the day, it's like... I feel bad about it. When I started, no, I, no, no, I, I thought it was bad. funny until, until I realized he was actually starting to get He's, pissed he was about it, and I'm like, like, wait a minute, yeah. you really get mad about this? You're the one pissing this close to us, genius. Right. No, like, like the I felt bad about if it was the you fact, that, didn't do the wrong, fact that, like, I made a comment yeah. that we wasn't sure uh, it was a man. But honestly, that had no bounds. That had no bounds. It had no bounds to. You couldn't tell if it was. Yeah, no. I don't think they had to do anything. It it still doesn't. That was. That's totally beside the point that he was urinating right next to you. Yeah. And it's just like okay, well, literally the right wind. In the right wind, we would have had piss on us. Yeah. Yeah, he was pretty damn close. Probably. Yeah. Like he was way too close. I don't know why you think that's a good idea. That would have been the best thing that ever happened. We should have told him he has to go pee over by Yeah, the <laughs> just, go, just go over there, see see what happens. Dude, that would have been hilarious. <laughs> I'm that, like, what should Mike's picture it, like, oh. I that, was pretty <laughs> that would have been so glorious, dude. It was fucking... Yeah, it was a great just, time. It really, really was. was. A it lot was. Of I thought that was the only bump. Bu- although, pyro. there's been a few times... There was a few bumps... But honestly, like, I'll have to give Tan Team one thing. We had, seemed like we had more confrontation with our own team than we did with the Tan Team. Yeah. Dude, I'll tell you this, yeah. man. At that night game just a little bit ago, those guys were getting pretty feisty over nothing. Tan? Or yelling at each other and just acting yeah. like children, dude. It was a little bit like... It's like, this is what Mere Tech games come to? Just, oh. beca- just because it's dark out, you don't need to start acting like an asshole, yeah. dude. Like, I don't get why you're screaming at each other, dude. Like... My old, Mike and I were trying to, and Jason were trying to crawl the hallways. And like coordinate. And yeah, it's like, dude, it's kind of like you're taking the fun out of it, dude. We didn't have radios, yeah. so we, we just saw our comic equipment. Yeah, I wasn't gonna bring it when I played. Don't like I was all set to play until we came there, and it was just. And I'm like, I don't even. I'm like, I'm just don't want to be out right now. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like I got beer in the fridge and the I got beer in the fridge. And a strong just, like, wind in the brain. Snow is shaggy and I ain't here to fuck. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, bro. We're just pretty. Well, what I was party. shocked about. Oh shit! Everybody, should, teammates, should back. What I what I was shocked about. If I laid money down, I would have guessed you would have came back and Joe would have stayed. I would have never guessed that revert because Joe was all gun hole and you were like, eh, maybe. And then all of a sudden we get there, and Joe's like, fuck this. <laughs> and you're like, I'm doing it. And yeah. up there. Yeah. Squad leader, but I don't drive to work just to leave right away. I got to at least work a couple of hours. I mean, you They don't let you leave right away. They will let me leave. No, right they away. won't, bro. Dude, I'm about to literally, like. But yes, Anyways. They will. Anyways. <laughs> yes, they will. But, uh, yeah, and then our com- right Oh, no, we did <laughs> have one thing. We did have a conversation with Dan, but I can oh. tell Joe got. 
freaking pissed. And I, I thought it was ridiculous, and the guy was a Oh, the only bag. confrontation. But, what uh, confrontation was this? But, uh, you yeah. Know, a little bit of gas we're, tr- we're trying to go up to, no, we're trying to go, we're storming these guys upstairs. We don't know what they are, green or tan. You know, you, you don't know because there's so many people. You know, it's pretty easy. We, we assume they're tan. Joe's throwing a grenade up there, and, he, you know, he goes up there and he starts shooting, and he gets shot. And there's a tan guy up there, and he goes, Ah, that was green on green, you freaking idiots! And he's laughing, and Joe's like, Fuck you! <laughs> but it's like, there's so many... Uh, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it was kind of hard to see who was on what team, because Camo wasn't really... Uh... No. Specified enough, I guess. I played or I played three or four more tactical events in buildings now. They're all that same it's exact so stairwell, yeah. dude. You have you it's, have to be able to move through it. It's literally it, it literally all this is all all the same stairwell. They're all like, Oh you can't shoot vertical. Well guess what? Every time I grab a go up a stairwell, someone's pointing a gun down at me right Oh you start yelling at them like, Yeah, I got yeah, you yeah. on camera. Bro, <laughs> you but, can't shoot down like but that. The problem is I also can't shoot up like that. Yeah. They took care of that shit at Kankakee because you can only stay in the stairwell for fifteen seconds. Oh, is that the new rule? That's what yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Which which awesome. makes movement happen. Move. It's like yeah. yeah, you either go up or down or get the fuck out of the stairwell. Yeah, exactly. that's that's actually a good idea. Yeah. That should be they a should, common rule. Yeah, they should well, do that. so much more room. confrontation, dude. It guarantees somebody's going to have to, you know, you 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 cut you enter the building, you need to move. Mm-hmm. Like, we locked down we locked down a few times, bro, but it was like fucking Joe's grenade and I was grenade and fucking, dude, that first push was like fucking four or five grenades in that doorway. And then guess what? We took over first, second, third. That was our like, only other conversation was tan during our first doorway take. The the dead guy would not move out of the way. And was Seal fucked us with it. <laughs> He was Dude. being like a human shield for his other teammates. Yeah, and then I clipped him in the head twice, and he got mad about it. But if you're getting you're clipped, you're stuck behind you, brother. Just move. Yeah, dude, but wait, wait. But wait, you're not supposed to move until moved by a teammate. This guy literally, like, sh- I got shot in that in that first stairwell. Yeah, I was. I sat down on it, and that's pretty much as low as, low yeah. as I was willing to get. It was sitting down. But, dude, literally, like, that guy's like, if you don't move right now, I'm going to shoot I'm gonna shoot you. I'm like... I'm dead. You're gonna I, shoot yeah, me. what the fuck? Like, and they, and he's like right in front of me. I'm right in front of me, point blank. I'm like, you're gonna shoot me? Well, what's that gonna do? It's it's an airsoft BB, bro. Like, it's not, your BB's not gonna go through me, bud. It's like, this bad guy's behind you. I'm like, well, what's your point? Like, who passed me, genius? Just stare while I'm at the bottom of it almost. <laughs> so it's like, okay. I literally, told, I literally told him to his face, recording, like, that's ignorant. Like, this, this, is, this is an honor sport. Anytime like, I got hit in a stairwell, I just confined myself in a corner. I was the guys down as far as I could get and up against do. the wall. He it's like, what more work? He could have gotten got in front of me and exposed himself. He just wanted to. I, was, I don't know if some of these guys just like. Don't want to cause problem, bro. They just, like, I don't, maybe they have no control in their own lives. And when they finally get out here and they get. It's like the best and, like, saying I heard today it's not POV. Just fucking calm down. This is not VR. This is just a game. Exactly. This is something that we're doing for a hobby. This is a weekend sport for... Yeah, point of point view. Point of view. Yeah. But this is not a, 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 a video game that you're playing anymore. No. This is... Do some exercise. Get off your ass. Go do something with your life. <laughs> kind of. But the problem is, is like... When you encounter cheat encounter cheaters on the field and shit, and like that's annoying. Yeah, yeah but not just that, but like yeah, maybe that's what most of these people see or something. Is, but I'm playing or something since I was like, you know, before I was twelve years old, bro, like in backyards and shit. Yeah. But like, still, like for a stupid long amount of time, it's like, uh, yeah, sure, I kind of saw it as exercise too, but it's like I never really thought, yeah, I'm gonna do this because it's exercise. I I thought I'm gonna do this because it's an action sport game. Yeah, I just know it because it's fun. Where to call it? <laughs> I mean, it's like it's it's similar in paintball, but I mean, yeah, it's not paintball. It's slightly more realistic. It's not as expensive as paintball. It's not as oh no, you know, honestly, it's I feel like airsoft is better. Store. Oh yeah, but yeah. it's so hard to find places. To, it, it's getting easier now. Airsoft's got a big boom. Most paintball yeah. fields now play airsoft. Well, it's a little bit COVID but friendly with they the masks. Always- well, I think people have a little bit more money to spend, too, because it's like, okay, paintball is expensive to play, but you can get paintball guns for fucking cheaper than shit. You don't, you yeah. want to come correct in the airsoft field, dude. I'd yeah, rather spend more, I'd rather spend more money on guns I like. And that's what I'm saying. I don't want and, a fucking paintball thrower. Yeah. I want to fucking. Yeah, I'd rather spend more money. Is that an M4? Well, also, if you don't like an airsoft gun, you can always treat it so like you like it. 
Yeah, I'd rather spend more. Work on it's a lot different. You can't just be like, oh, I'm no. gonna do this, this, and this to it because there's not really modifications in that. Like, it's or, pretty much just uh, the barrel. You buy, yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. the barrel and the hopper. The, it's yeah, literally, it's literally the same thing you have in that MTW. You, can, you can buy a nice lightweight tank or whatever. You know, nonsense. SMD move. Yeah, you can buy cool fucking gear. Extreme and hoppers, dude, and shit. Yeah, you can buy electric fan hoppers. That's about it, though. Yeah. Shit, but I've spent probably more money on food and just random bullshit than I did on ammo. Where if it was paintball, two thousand no, yeah, rounds. I, I spent way more on just living than like what you're saying. It's like, but you know, honestly, I dress it. It's like fifty bucks, right, or more? Oh, uh, it was a hundred bucks nice. for like two thousand rounds. Holy shit. <clears throat> yeah, that that was when I was playing because I couldn't find anywhere to airsoft. So I tried paintball for a while, and don't get me wrong, paintball is fun. I think airsoft is better, but paintball is fun because, you know, it's like the you know, same kind of thing, but you don't have as much options with guns. But uh, anyways, you know, it's just how expensive it was. I'm, I can't keep this hobby up. I'm going to go fucking broke. I mean, you can spend the same amount on airsoft and be just as broke, but like, I don't know. It's a lot different spending that much, that kind of money on airsoft, it's especially depending on like. Well, with like, airsoft, you, you feel like you with airsoft too. You actually feel like you bought something. Like you spend that money, but you got a gun, and you're like, "This is a fucking badass gun." Yeah. Where paintball, yeah, you're dropping nice. the money on ammo, yeah. and you're like, mm -hmm. you know, you're like. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, when you buy a paintball marker, also it's like it's. Uh, you know, everyone has that marker or whatever. Like, it's the, you know, that's the best marker. Well, guess what? Everyone has that one. It's like, when you get an airsoft gun, it's like, what do I want to do to this thing? Mm -hmm. and it's like, yeah, and, it, and it's like all modified by that person. You know, no one else is like, oh, what? I do this and this. And then everybody, it's you like, know, I've heard the argument like, well, with paintball, it's more honest because, you know, like you have a mark on. How many people I saw when I was playing or just oh, not yeah. call it because people by the end of the day have paint oh, yeah. all over them. It's like... That's it, why I it's not really much that, different on that front. True. It's a little bit more noticeable, though. It's not just a slight tap. It's I think a 68 the, caliber ball flying yeah, at that, you versus yeah, a 6 that, Although, I did have two of my favorite time. moments in paintball. One was a successful Rambo where I did that I did in the jungle. I only had, like, a few more rounds in the hopper. Well, you played paintball in the jungle? No. no. Oh, what I did in the jungle. to the jungle? So, I... I just started, I screamed out, Bleh! and everybody behind their bunker on the other team popped out. He was there. there. He, was, he was on the other team. No, yeah. I'm talking about this is uh, when I was playing paintball. Oh, I was, I was like, shit. So they poked their heads out, and I actually got like four of them out before they finally hit me, because everybody was like, this guy's <laughs> doing it. And was like, bam, 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 bam. Hell yeah. And, uh, there's so, another, there, like, the other moment East. was me and John... We went to this indoor place, and there's this guy about three times the size of me, which is fucking huge. It's like, you're hitting the side of the barn with this fucking guy. Super big sexy. Mm -hmm. And he ain't calling his shots. <laughs> and it was the same thing. We're like, me and John are like, well, we don't want to spend... Feel him, bro. Uh, me, me and John are like, we don't want to spend the fucking money on buying more rounds, but fuck this guy, we're just going to play his last game and just unload our last rounds on him. Oh, <laughs> he's big? <laughs> no, not because he's big, because he wasn't calling his shots. You know, you just fucking, you'd shoot him and he'd just keep coming. I'm like, you fucking asshole. So we're like, we're done for today, let's just fucking piss this guy off. So we just unloaded on I'm in, I'm in. I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, ah! Uh, <laughs> he looks fucking like a pig. <laughs> yeah. So a case of 2,000 paint. Goes for anywhere 50. from forty four to about that's, sixty bucks. That Ooh. store you buy on that's field the mark, the markup yeah. at field is well, at least nice fifty percent. Those look dope. Oh yeah, I bet PBX is pricey, man. They're everything mm -hmm. everything at PBX is pricey, dude. Oh yeah. But, but you didn't get ten thousand rounds of airsoft for like twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's up? Tracer with that? BBs. Shit. Yeah. Literally, dude. Oh, dude, I love this shit. Trip. I love the Let's tracers. Let's talk about shit. Dude, you gotta see that. That's just nasty. Well, <laughs> oh, for real, we are camping. Okay. So tell us about the night game, man, guys. Uh, How did that go for you? Yeah. It was dark. It was dark? I, I, that's what I wanted into the Shadow Man at all? It was dark and wet. No was... Shadow Man action? Oh, dude, there's all kinds of Shadow Man. Oh, there's all kinds of stealth shit going down. What, what I was trying to do, and I thought it was creepy, was I was looking from like. 
I'd go into these random rooms. I was telling Mike, I was like, it's really creepy just being in these rooms because they're like, they're not prison cells per se, but they pretty much are. They're smaller, smaller than cell, they're yeah. smaller than prison cells. Yeah, it was just and like bed. And somebody lived there. You know what I'm saying? Like if you really think about it, it was weird. But anyways, I was just looking from one wing up at the other side, like one of those cut out, you know, one of the other wings, dude. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, I swear if I see an apparition in this shit, I'm like, I'm the fuck out of here. Is that dude. TNT? Who the fuck well, had that? that's what happens to me on, on booms, bro. Like, if I take some boomers, dude, that's exactly what happens to me. I start seeing, like, shadow figures like that shit. Oh, I'm like, bro, man. that would be the place for it. See, man, there's, you know, I, I really want to go go... There's, after I watched Destination Fear. I told you that episode's well, so good, dude. But also, there's like other episodes where like they do ghost tour. One of these nights, so anybody that's on our team that are interested, we should go in on an overnight ghost tour. That would be so, oh, there? Well, not not there necessarily, but there's a bunch of places. Like, you do want to go yeah. in. Joey had to be cool. Joey was fun, dude. Joey and Joey, I didn't want to fuck it. Kind of had a blast up there. I know. I'm so disappointed we can't airsoft there anymore. You had the good patch, didn't you? Don't you have the star patch? Yeah. Dude, the hell one of those at me was so crazy. Yeah, that's one of the cooler patches. That patch was huge. I was like, whoa, what is that thing? They go hard with the patches. Yeah, yeah Mirror's got some pretty cool got, patches. This, this one was pretty decent. It was sick, and they gave you a, uh, like a numbered patch. So you keep those from each of their events, and then once you get five, you'll turn it in for a number five patch. Hmm. It's like a ranking in there, like how many events you've been to. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, man, I come different. if I could, I come to every one of these. I love this place. It is a pretty fun place to be. First time ever there, it was definitely a good experience. There was not many tracers in the night game. No, no, no. no there no, maybe, maybe there are people who are trying to be more I, stealthy. I don't know if it was that or if it's just lack of funds from all the pyros. From the day game, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people spent money on grenades, dude. I there was a there was lot more grenades, grenades than I've seen at any event, I think. Except, oh my except god! Maybe, maybe Sherwood had some like well, that. Well, it was all tile was... inside. You couldn't start fires. I was at uh, still though, dude. Like that was weird. No, I've been to some places. I have seen like multiple Iowa. cases of grenades bought. Like I've Iowa, never seen that. Iowa, there was it was all tile. You couldn't burn any of that shit. I was it's one of the coolest things about that shit. It was hardcore with the grenades. Those grenades, new dawn. Yeah, I didn't hear grenades like that unless we were throwing them. So many grenades. Dude, everybody had grenades chucking like different shit. Like, man. Some that videos. one that was on the roof, dude. I can't even oh, stop talking about that one. Oh, that thing? No. no, 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 no. We'll or whatever the heck we'll, we'll, it was. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it now. Yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, you're about to fall asleep, it seems like, now, too. Shh. Don't talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, there's Airsoft, I... dine- or airsoft uh, Power or Technica. What the hell was it? I forgot. Uh, you talked about your RT or something? I don't know. No, it wasn't that. It was something. Uh, yeah, I forgot. It was some 22. It definitely blew up the floor. It used a 22 blank charge. Oh, not that one. This is different. It's oh. a yellow canister that's about yay big, and it literally, like, it's got something in it that goes completely for sure. Damn, Mike, you are getting out of But you remind me a lot of my buddy Dan. <laughs> you're like a young Dan. <laughs> oh, God. You're, you're a Yan. Young Dan. But, uh, yeah. yeah, I was thinking about the pizza earlier. I'll never forget there was one day. You've you lived with him for years. Came home. He got in a fight with his girlfriend. I guess he sent him home. She just drove him. Because he don't drive. He's petrified to drive. So she just drove him home and was like, fuck you, get out of here. Anyways, I came home from work, and he's sitting in the kitchen crying. And I'm like, what's the matter? And he's like, I got in a fight with Stephanie. She said I was an asshole, and now I burnt my pizza. Yeah. <laughs> he's just sitting there looking at the fridge. And it, I mean, he's drunk as fucking hell. Oh, yeah. He's fucking had a burnt-ass pizza. And I saw you eating the day, and I'm thinking, Dan got his pizza. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Okay, so I would, let's hope you never have to go through that moment, yeah? Uh, yeah, definitely. And hope it doesn't end up on a podcast in five years. <laughs> Like, damn, damn, Daniel. Tyler, hey, it, only took, it only took two recruiters to get that out of Tyler. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with mine. Yo, you said two cores. Looks like he's done more than two cores. Huh? Shit, oh, man. I should probably keep more up there. Yeah. Good, I got like half of this left, not more. That's it? Yeah, but you guys can smoke pot. I can't. If I can smoke pot, I'd probably have one beer and be. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, 
don't know. I always prefer to I never slept his crown. You actually guys want to hit that a little bit? Yeah, you can bring it out here. Yeah. Let's swig that shit. Let's swig all right, all right. Let, okay. Let's pause it. Actually, I can just probably switch it. Pause uh-huh. it. Pause well, it. No. Uh-huh. Yeah, I got to right, switch the battery. We're going to eat pizza. pizza. Anyways. Um, Short break. We're going to eat pizza. We're going to eat pizza. We're going to hook up a GoPro in the thing and show y'all. It's pretty cool though. I mean, because like, when you're down, I'm like, like We're back. They had that in the tunnel last time I went. I don't know if you saw that in the video. Like, lights that are just... That made it so much creepier. I'm like, Whoa. yeah, it's cool. I have to close the trails. to the immersion oh. effect. Yeah, dude, it is cool. That's why I like to play like that. Like, I don't know if last time I went, they had more of open because remember in Destination Fear, they said they opened in 2019, yeah. and it let something out. Ah, uh, that yeah, you gotta watch that episode. It was pretty good. It was pretty good, dude. If you ever watch any Ghost Adventures, man, it Destination Fear is pretty entertaining. I mean, I like it's not it's not Ghost Adventures, but it's pretty. I weird. like it because you know I like Zach Baggins, but at the same time, he's a douche. That's why I like him. <laughs> but it's you know like everybody's like, oh they fake it. I'm like I don't think they're smart enough to fake it. I don't think he is either. I don't think he would just. Dude, I mean the dude has a whole museum on his shit, dude. I don't mm-hmm. think he would do that with the mm-hmm. fucking thought of I'm gonna bullshit this evidence. I mean, I honestly fully believe. Like, there's some things that I've experienced looking for it that I can't explain, but, you know, I'm not going to try to just convince to somebody. Like the Goetia spirits, bro. This is a lot of weird shit that they give up. Goetia was really fucking good. Kenosha? Yeah, the Simming Two Demons of Solomon's Tomb. Is that by you guys? What? You guys might know. Yeah. No, Goetia. Goetia. I thought I say Kenosha. Because you guys are by Kenosha. Yeah, no, it's a... It's a religion like a heritage or a sub-religion i guess you could call it oh i kind of wanted to do the ouija board with you but i was a little a little nervous about oh, doing it too i'm all into that with this shit oh uh, fucking ouija boards man i love I like i love respect spirits and all that dude open my shit ouija board move bro oh, my buddy got the fucking closet for blues clothes <laughs> can you make a ouija can, have you ever seen one bro a ouija board by itself but like you the, can put your the, hand on it slightly and it will move. See, I watched an episode, I, I can't remember what episode it was. Um, Ghost Adventures? Uh, no, it was uh, Destination Fear, where they had that phone call going. We had something like that when we were using a Ouija board. We actually, it was a glow-in-the-dark Ouija board, so we used the phone to light it up. Light up the Ouija board. Yeah. And we're using it, and... I forgot what it told us, told us, especially since I'm a little buzzed. Right yeah, now. right. But anyways, there's guys waiting at the house for us because they didn't want anything to do with the Ouija board. And they said they got a phone call from us, and they just heard me screaming bloody murder. And then, uh, I guess, hung up, and then they called us, which scared the hell out of, oh, ah, hell out of us. Because it was back in the day with Boost Mobile where the ringtone was, Where are you at? Yeah, um, yeah. So, you know, we're out there, the Ouija board's being creepy, and all of a sudden it goes, Where are you at? It's <laughs> like, so, what's going on oh, out there? Dude, that's creepy. Yeah, he's like, what's going on? Is Tyler okay? He's screaming. I'm like, no, we're out here. We're freaking out because of the Ouija board. And then we got the fuck out of there, and we saw a shadow figure, like, off in the woods. And like I said, I'm. It, it's hard to, if you're not there, nobody's going to believe you. Yeah. I believe you, dude. We just played Bloods Point Cemetery in Belvedere, bro. Yeah, that's a that known, place that's is... known for normal hot spot. Yeah, but it was everyone only talk... a hot spot. Because, like, my everyone friend lives in the brown about house, it. like, Kitty Corner across from it that has the pond. My friend Kyle Johnson used to live there, and I was good friends with him back in the day. And we slept in the graveyard that night. And this was back in the day when the shed was still there where the girl allegedly committed suicide at and was who was a witch and sacrificed herself for Satan or whatever the fuck she did. So right. Seriously? Yeah. So but anyways, she, uh, yeah, people. Fuck you, she uh, put like blood all on the walls and stuff, like drew symbols and stuff of that nature, and they were there. Like it was legitimately there. There were symbols on the wall. They were in a red paint or blood. Yeah. And it was like a very uneasy presence just being in that shed like you just felt depressed you felt like this pressure on the back of your shoulders like you did not feel okay in there and we tried to stay in there for as long as possible we just had to keep leaving that room we couldn't stay in there longer than 10 minutes and without like wanting to 
just go crazy. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> yeah, basically, you know what I mean? And fucking, they took down that, um, that shed or whatever, like, two years after he moved out. And Rip. you don't really see people going up there anymore. You don't see any talk on the fucking internet, internet no more. The only talk you see is the ghost car. Now, I've never really experienced the ghost car. But the theory with that is, is you're driving down Bloods Point, And when you cross over a set of train tracks, you'll start to see a car behind you. Oh, yeah. And it'll start to, like, chase you. And it goes to, like, run you off the road or whatever. And you get all freaked out. Like, it goes around you, and it's just gone. Hey, guys. We might talk about ghosts for a while. This is an airsoft podcast, but it's also whatever the fuck we want to talk about podcast. Big sexy nipple. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Anyways, there's a road by us where every city has this rumor. Please, please tell me it's Munger Road. Munger Road. Yeah. Every city. I was hoping you'd bring this up. Every city has this rumor. You know, I it's not the first place I've run across it. I live in Tennessee. I love the story of Munger Road. They have it where like a bunch is apparently a school bus full of kids got hit by a train, and if you park on a chart tracks and put your car in neutral to push you off the tracks oh yeah i never had that but that. have you tried that we it. we've tried it but uh and? honestly it, nothing happened not but that's not to say there's not something going on with that road Why is because that? we've been down that road and the ghost car you're talking about we've yeah. had that numerous times it's one long road where there's no turnoffs and honestly, you'll have a car behind you, and all of a sudden, it just disappears. Like it's just tailing you? Yeah, it's like tailing you, and all of a sudden, it just fucking... Like, what? Uh, it's like, you know, and you hear things, but that's probably the most particular, where it's like, you can't explain it. Like, what the fuck? Like, right. Live love what you hear, and only half of what you see. And there was this other graveyard we went to, I think it was in Schomburg... Anyways, there's, <laughs> this never happened to us, but apparently going down this road, there was a rumor that a mobster will appear in your backseat and start smoking a cigar. Nice. I told my buddies, if that ever happened to us, we're going to die because I'll fucking freak the fuck out. Oh, yeah. It's like, honestly, I feel like if I, I've seen things in a building the hair standing on the, up on the back of my neck. You know, I've seen... Yo. Yeah, I've, like, after that... <laughs> Let's stop talking about this shit. It was at this moment that we were... Yeah. After that we did <laughs> <Remember, laughs> oh, I ever saw Remember, after, after, right. remember <laughs> how I messaged you, or, or messaged the group earlier? I was like, no, there's something weird going to happen on this one. Dude, Dude you should location. bust out the fucking... Uh, RF meter right now, boom. No, your fucking voice recorder. I can't find it. I've been looking for oh, it. Oh, I know. Okay. I wonder if the iPhone voice memo will work the same. The only thing I think you need to be in is that white noise spectrum, though. But, uh, dude, mm. honestly, I'll look for it again when we're done with the podcast. Or a spirit box. But, uh, like spirit, spirit box. box after that Ouija board thing, I was seeing it. I was she- seeing that shadow figure for like two years before it finally Whoa. disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, that can't happen, bro. Like, things can, like, attach to you. And, like, it is. A means of talking, of communications, I mean, if you dabble in something that you're not really experienced in, or you don't really know too much about. 17 year old girl. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it goes into your mind's your own worst enemy. And the more That's you feed you into it, the worse it can get, or the better it can get. I feel like it attached to me, because like I said, when I got that call, it was me screaming. And literally, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, and it would just be sitting in the corner. And I'm like, what the fuck? Feeding off your energy. And I just fucking let it ignore. That's not good, brother. Uh, No, it went away. Like, this is years ago. Who invited him to stay here? But, uh... (laughs) This this, this was... It's like he checked himself (laughs) out. When it detaches from you... (laughs) Sorry. Bro, when it detaches from you, it detaches from someone else. That could be his problem now. (laughs) What's that? That's Trisha. No, yeah. Oh, because oh man, there was there was times too when that was happening. What? Where my buddies would freak out. They wouldn't see the shadow figure, and I wouldn't see it on the incidents they had. But we'll be sitting in a room, you know, playing Xbox, and all of a sudden the window would slam open. Interesting. And I was like, "What the fuck?" No, that is definitely interesting. But, huh. you know, if you don't believe me, eh, you know, maybe you get some entertainment out of my stories. It happened. To me, but you could. 
Do as you wish. Yeah, do as you wish. But... <laughs> Joe's snoring over there. There's <laughs> a the ghost over the there. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking ghost <laughs> over there, guys. <laughs> That's like me, dude. Straight up. But yeah, I would freak him the fuck out. I, I was in a pretty depressed state. It actually seemed to be, it, you know, after the Ouija board incident for the two years, I was in a pretty depressed state of mind. And it seemed like once I got out of it, it stopped. Yeah, it's all on your brain. Personality. Yeah. You know, for what you have, like your mental state you have to. But like, you start convinced, convincing yourself it's really there when it's not. Yeah, it's... It, See, that's the one thing that freaks me, like, you were talking about. Mind over matter. Demons mm-hmm. scare the fuck out of me. It's like, as soon as I think we're fucking with de- demons and little mm-hmm. girl ghosts, if I think we're Disembodied fucking with Disembodied the- voices. <laughs> <laughs> Disembodied voices? That's what they describe yeah. it as. <laughs> a voice without a body or a vocal cord. Maybe. A ghost. A disembodied voice. Because it doesn't have vocal cords. That's the big deal, like he's saying, the spirit box, because it sweeps so many frequencies of radio exactly. in seconds. God, we need it's to go impo- It's impossible together. for a vocal to reach that many, you know, frequency lengths. Now that COVID's about over, it's crazy, dude. Now that, that COVID's about shit, over, man. we're it's gonna have crazy. to get Trisha to watch Penny. So, like, come over and we. Trisha would love to watch Penny, dude. I know Penny would probably once Penny gets to know her, like, right, she'll probably be shy at first. Oh yeah, dude. Because COVID really kind of slowed down that aunt niece relationship. Well, and not only that, like, uh, you know, Trish does it for a living. Trish is awesome, dude. Trish is an is an amazing nanny. Like, yeah. I'll well, knock her up. If, dude, <laughs> I mean, we talked about it. I don't know, bro. Where's like money? I I know there's some issues. Well, I mean, the what only you... the only issue is we like to go to Hawaii. Oh, you can bring a kid to yeah, Hawaii. I travel like that with her. I could just command you to Disney. That was fun, dude. Oh, we're going to Disney in You're September. Gonna love it. We're going to Disney in September. Too. You're going to love it. Oh, my God. It, it is going to be very awesome. though. We dropped... Uh, we're going for about a week. I think we dropped five grand on tickets. What the Where'd you boy? go? Uh, Where are you staying? Uh, on resort? Yeah, I think we're staying on one of the resorts. <laughs> Yeah, anytime you stay on Disney property, yeah. you're talking big money. Yeah, we dropped five grand on probably the tickets, and I think because yeah. we paid for the in laws too, I think in our. You guys already got your park selected and the shit? Yeah. Yeah, dude, you gotta get, make sure you book all your restaurants early. All restaurants too? Yep, you have to book them all, and I would I highly suggest if you do it now, you get to eat anywhere you want, so you should do that. I'll tell Ashley. Otherwise, they will book out. I'm telling you, my ours booked out months ahead of time. Damn. It was, yeah, we were pissed. We were like, dude. They still have fast food dining, which is dope because you can order on your phone. And then they just they text you and they're like, hey, your order will be ready, you know, at this time between 1.30 and 2 or whatever. You show up there between 1.30 and 2. And then they get then they let you come in and sit at their table. You can't just go to the restaurant so they don't fill those places up like for COVID. They're actually really good with the COVID restrictions there. Man, I got a pretty good ghost and airsoft story, though. Oh, shit. What's this? We're back on topic, guys. Sorry, I just had to. I was just thinking about. I love, it. Yeah, I love, no, about I love ghost stories. But uh, yeah, you know Carl, you know the guy that I- I'm sure me and him will make up. But right now things Hopefully. are bumpy because we're getting hit it really hard at work, and he's being an asshole. I mean, I'm this sure I'm being sucks, a, man. I'm sure I'm being an asshole too. I'm sure I'm not that pleasant. But on the end of the day, I'm the you're doing supervisor your job, yep. and he's not Trust and he's me. trying to get away with shit and use that buddy really but i'm sure eventually oh you're using a white noise spirit, spirit box. box but anyways he used to live at this campground 80 acres in the middle of it there was an indian bear in the ground <laughs> so anyways we used to airsoft there all the time his dad didn't give a fuck and uh me and the girl i was dating at the time we're playing together. We're hiding off in the woods. We didn't know where anybody was at. And all of a sudden, we just hear, bum, 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 like, war drums. <laughs> we're fucking freaking out. We're like, what the fuck is that? So we go fucking haul off in the woods. And as we're hauling off in the woods, it's just getting louder and louder. And we're hearing people fucking run after us. Dude, it was uh, fucking creepy as hell. Was there was another time where we were airsofting. It was just me, Carl, and Dan. And since it was just us three, we did Carl and Dan versus me. So I was by myself, and I was already a little freaked out because we've had experiences at this campground. So I, you know, 
I was already freaked out. I'm hiding behind a bush. Waiting During for the daytime or nighttime? No, nighttime. Oh, shit. So I'm waiting for him to come to me. And all of a sudden, the bush the something? bush is probably yeah, raining. Right. It's like, yeah, things don't work like that. That bush is probably the sprite can right in front of me. All of a sudden, I hear, whoa! And I fucking freak out. I'm like, fuck, you scared the shit out of me. What the fuck? And I'm like, Carl, Dan, Carl, Dan. Where the fuck are you? They're across the fucking... I thought it was one of them fucking with me. They're an animal. I, That's well, the, thing. the way it growled, it sounded like a human. You know, like... Literally, it's like... A, it sounded like a human? What the fuck? It sounded like a human what just you trying what to fuck with you. What are your humans are you hanging with, dude? What it sounded like a human trying to fuck with you. You, you, pretty could, much. you could tell, though, like... Uh, I'm so, scared. So like a dog's bark, like, or a noise that's fake that, you know, yeah. sounds like an impersonation of a bark. It scared the shit out of me because, well, at first it scared the shit out of me because, but what scared the shit out of me is when I found out it wasn't either one of them. I'm like, what the fuck? What's... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Mm. Well, what was that? This campground you said? Oh, uh, it was, he used to, his dad used to be a caretaker at the Girl Scouts campground in St. Charles. That's a creepy job. Yeah. <laughs> it's just smidgy. Girl Scout campground. But it was badass because, like, if the Girl Scouts weren't staying there, he was dad would let us stay in the cabins. Oh, shit. Yeah, his dad would let us stay at the cabins and airsoft in the woods. And like I said, we had 80 acres to play with. And uh, he actually used to let us airsoft, especially when the guns we were using at the time. We weren't going to break a window. Man, we should do, like, an all-spring airsoft. That'd be fun. But, you know, then one day we didn't clean the BBs up well enough, and his dad's like, well, no, now you guys need to play outside. <laughs> yeah, that can get a bit messy. Some of those stairwells were pretty slick. Sketchy. I mean, water. Not just that, but those things are really ball bearings. Like, it's yeah. Like, you just slow it do, 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 do. One of you guys told me that. Like, you know, BB stands for Are you still playing with ghost stuff? Yeah, I just put on. There's a pretty creepy ball, graveyard up the road, but I ain't driving anywhere. I know. Oh, bro, I saw that. Up. It's probably got people in it from the sanitarium. Yeah. More than likely. I mean, it's close. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. I wonder if they have a dedicated graveyard for that place. A lot of those places would. Because I know I'm past the point where I need to be driving. See, that's what they have to do. I'm paranoid of a DUI. I had you it should be. I had it instilled with, into me because, uh, co-worker he's older he got really fucked on the DOI you know he had one earlier 18 mm -hmm. but then he got a second one in I think his 50s and he didn't think it'd be a big deal but I guess he got nailed to the wall for it and you know being a young guy he kept on telling me this is what could happen I'm like I don't want that to happen to me and you're, he's 100% right dude mm -hmm. so yeah if you know better, you know better, dude. Mm, so I'm like, Uber. But I don't even know Uber. Well, could you imagine calling an Uber right now? Could you imagine calling an Uber and telling them? That. Could you imagine calling an Uber and having them, having them drop us off at a graveyard right now? Like, what the fuck are these guys Only doing? Only if I had a trench coat and a shovel. <laughs> yeah, and the famous person that was there, no, they were familiar names, so we can dig it up and grab all the jewelry. Ooh. I don't think it works that way. Craig Robert. Robert? You used to be like this a thing. Right? <laughs> no, you used to be a thing in the States, bro. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. I think everywhere, probably. Well, they stole Lincoln's body. You ever watch that documentary? That's fucking wild. They stole wild, it twice. Right? Yeah. Twice. What? Yeah, I, at least twice. once, I know for sure. It was a huge documentary about the... These guys stole it. Stole Lincoln's body. Yeah, held it up for ransom. Yeah. Yeah, they held that up for rent. It, it was an interesting documentary, too. I think the government. Uh, anyways, it didn't really pan out for them. But now Lincoln's buried under a steel cage and like a bunch of fucking concrete. I've seen Lincoln's too. I had to. I used to go there. It's. You wrote, hit, um, yeah, his nose is all worn yeah, off. Yeah, it's cool. In the front of it, they got a statue of him with his nose, and apparently he rubbed his nose for good luck. The rest of it's just like brown and it's perfect. But the steel, nose. His nose is like. Copper. Mm. 
That was a super high polish. We do. We're we're gonna have to do a. We're gonna have to open up a. We're gonna have to make a new playlist for ghost hunts. A playlist for ghost hunts. Because I have playlists for a different like, you know, we have a podcast playlist to kind of organize our channel. Mm -hmm. We'll have to make one for ghost hunts. That'd be dope. I'd be down to do a ghost hunt. All right, let's I do still it. want to do a Ouija board. Maybe let's just go I back up here to this, uh, this asylum. That'd be cool. Trish would be down to do that, too. See, the only thing that... Bring our women? Yeah. Like just mother, you'd, you'd See, the only thing that makes me iffy about a Ouija board is now being the dad. I'd be afraid of something coming home with me to the kid. You can never record down doing the Ouija board, though. They, they say that they attach easier to children because they're, like, more susceptible, yeah. Watch that, there. but their their mind is strong. Attach the Mikey. Yeah, that's the youngest guy there. Yeah. Shut up, dude. Not to let that do you. I work for Amazon. Spirits don't be like, oh fuck this guy, I'm out. Yeah. I'm dead serious. You're like, I would have to watch him load packages every day in my life. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. It's like there's a you know there's those uh. Fucking cops are still there. At where? In Rockford. Yo. Something's going down, dude. What yeah. what are those things called that they're like apparently boxes that where you break the seal and all of a sudden the spirit comes out? One more time. It's like, like a ghost a box? A divot box? No, it's like a ghost box where apparently a divot box? Yeah, divot box. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, you break the seal and the ghost comes. I I wanted to fuck around with Did one. you watch the one do when they opened the one live on Zach Bagan's show? No, I didn't. Dude, this girl passed out in one episode of it, and then they, they, cause they let live tours come to it, like, at his, in his museum. It was behind a case, and this girl went to put her hand up to it. She straight fainted, dude, in his fucking place. And another dude had, like, a panic attack, sort of freaking the fuck out. Like, like I wanted to do that, but like I said, I was afraid to bring that home to Penny. I'd love to go to Zach Bagan's place, too. That's like, damn, it's creepy. Where's that? Right? Vegas. Yeah, I'm down. Oh, that that that's, that's my she, that's where they're from. Penny Fabian story. I you, oh here we go. Uh, yeah, yeah you, you know my the cards I made with the QR code. Yeah. yeah. So I used her phone to check it, and I forgot to delete the link. So I woke up to go to work one day, and thank God she's watching one of the slideshows. <laughs> She's like, hey, Danny, is this your favorite show? I'm like, oh, God, you shouldn't be watching this shit because my fear is all of a sudden she comes across our podcast. <laughs> I'm like, you don't need to be here. In this Not shit. yet. Not yet. <coughs> There's a time and a place. Mm -hmm. and this is not it. Oh, my God, damn. And then the wife, she saw the cards and she wanted one of them. So I don't know if she's actually going to pay attention. The one she might. She might. This. She might tell her friends about it, and then you might get narked out. Maybe what we do is you upload this, you know, a few days <laughs> after the event. Watch the shooting. You know, <laughs> what? Uh, 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 the shooting in Rockford. We're going to find airsoft guns in this house. That's what's going to kill airsoft. And it's fucking sad. It is. That's like, come on. I guess paintball it is, boys. I'm down, man. I mean, I'm I down mean down honestly, I'm down to get his extreme laser tag. Honestly, man. is the best like design and shit. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, going years without being able to airsoft. If all of a sudden airsoft got wiped off the field and paintball is all was left, I'd probably paintball. Oh yeah, I probably wouldn't go as much. Do they though. take that away in Canada too now? Along with airsoft, airsoft and paintball, they I don't know. To still They're still trying, trying to. Yeah, so trying to ban anything that fires a projectile that's un, uh, under a specific, uh, you know, like, glossy of it, yeah. Oh, shit. <clears throat> so all those McDonald's toys, that projectile shit. Nerf Bro, Nerf guns are sexual. gonna be where it's at, I guess. <laughs> Extreme Nerf Dude, battling. Nerf battles would be sick, actually, dude. It, no, they, I actually, yeah, uh, yeah, Red Dots will still mount on them. There was this hookah bar by us in, uh, God, what is I think it was West Chicago. I think it was in West Chicago. Anyways, they do Nerf nights. That was actually pretty fun. That would be pretty. Yeah, you With get the hookahs around. Yeah, you get the hookahs. You get fucking some booze going, and you fucking just start shooting I mean, at each other with the Nerf holes. guns. Uh, and take their coal right off their hookah. Honestly, yeah, that's dangerous. Honestly, like I, I've had some pretty good success when I was single shooting girls and starting a conversation. 
yeah. Super Bar is a good place. Come over here. You shoot the dart at her. <laughs> you shot my titty. Like well, I will shoot your ass right now, dude. You shot my titty. Well, so we shoot Mike and wake him up. Yeah. Mm, Where's that boy. fence taser again? Oh, fuck oh. you. That, Word yeah. of lies, if you go to the asylum, do not touch the no. fence. And yeah, if you fence. think the gate's going to open, it don't. Did you get touched by the fence? No, him and... Uh, I did not get yeah, touched you, by the fence. You two are the only ones that did it. Anybody fence. that hasn't touched the fence has to do it themselves. The reason the we're on the couch. Oh, I'm leaving tomorrow. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can stay till noon. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Lazy River's calling my name. <laughs> where are you, where are you staying at, the Dells? Uh, the Wilderness. Wilderness. Arcade, bumper cars, laser tag. Oh, that bumper car is there? Yeah. That's cool. Get I'll to knock it. the niece around a few bits for her being a little brat when she was over for a while, you know? Bump it, dude. You have any kids yourself yet? Not yet. At least not that I'm aware of. Eh, you could dop Elliot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she'd be great. <laughs> Good old Poor JoJo. Job. Right? Good old JoJo. <laughs> It's gonna stink. I think it might. Nice I think it might. Play hardcore with him. Poor great. John thought she was a tranny. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's over here. I don't here know, man. Like that that hard drugs that boy just kind of gave it all this away. This is what hair's all day. That's not the end of it, dude. It's like, yo. Literally. <laughs> Don't watch me, like, scare, scare myself. Not going well, on. let's see. What time, what time do we get to the field? I kind of want to go check out the store or something at 9. No, Tim, what time did we get to the field today? Oh, we got there per- a little early. It yeah, just took like, us forever to get ready. What, quarter eight? to eight? Yeah. yeah. It just took us yeah. forever to get ready. Mm-hmm. Especially Mike. I that's an early, like that's an early way you remind me of Dan. Dan's, Mike. Dan's the same way, man. He takes fucking forever. <laughs> Ever to get ready. That's because Mike helps Chris everybody. Really show, bro. No, dude, it's because Mike literally helps every person out there, dude. No, that Thank is you. true. Mike, can you help me? Yeah, but he's got he's got. Well, no, the same thing. Is, the thing is, is, Dan. Guy, like, Dan no, Dan I'll is literally like, like an older version of you because he is so. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with it, and except for the fact when you're trying to get you out, he's so particular. You know, he he knows how he wants everything to be. So I know and that's exactly too, how it's going to be. And if it's not that way, he's not going out yet. Sometimes you get improvised. No, oh, you definitely are improvising. Yeah, fuck your bad. Huh? You're like me. You want it to work the way you want it to work. But in the scenario, dude, you like you definitely adapt and overcome every time. But you got the whole outfit together. Like every time Mike's fucking main primary dude's done, it's like, no second questions. I'll set it against the wall and fucking primary slide across the floor, bitch. Five kills grenade. Right. Throw me the fucking... Throw me the pistol. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, that was a dude dog, wasn't it? Yeah. I don't know where it was. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dude, he's got, six, he's got six toes, bro. He's got six teens? Yeah. yeah. Six toes, count them. Dude, you got like fucking an eight inch dick over there? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. He's <laughs> <laughs> way set for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's on camera. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Baby and air smell. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See what happens when you take a break and eat pizza? That <laughs> 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 one did. <laughs> Good old pizza gate. Oh, man. That's hilarious as shit. Mm. Uh. Alright, favorite play of the day, go. Yeah. Making it all the way to the fucking top. Yeah, making it to the roof was pretty I never made it to the roof today. Oh, what? we gotta do no. that tomorrow, bro. Yeah. We, we gotta do Definitely didn't have the play like you had up there, dude. That was still Wait, what? He, the, the video he had of last time he was actually working on the roof. Me? Was crazy. Yeah. yeah, that pistol <coughs> duel between. All right. <coughs> Honestly, I was pretty drunk when it put together. <laughs> but how was my drunk. Did you guys ever watch my drunk commentary? Yeah, we all Yeah, dude, it. the audio sucked. Oh, uh, my too, audio? I couldn't hear you too, talk at all. Too quiet. Shit. Well, I think the part of it, too, is I don't want my Shit. family hearing me. No, wait, but just boost it in your, yeah, in your, in your, your video. Fucking or me, you know what I'm saying? Turn the, you can turn well, the video. The video Anything you did here, was it good? 
Yes. Bro, we watched a lot of the footage. Yeah, it was it hilarious. Sounded, we were it. it didn't sound like you were too far gone. Yeah, I think I was probably in the middle yeah, of the drinking. I was going to say, more like, more like a buzz commentary, but yeah. Then again, you're like, uh, you've had like at least six or seven of those things, probably more now at this point. Oh, yeah. And then you've, you've had the beers at the, or the beer at the thing. It's like, you're doing all right for drinking what you did. I feel oh, like. I can drink beer all day. That's what Cody was the, saying. The thing about it's it is, like you probably drink a lot. The heart out, the crown's actually what's got me a little over. But uh, I could drink. Where's that crown? Let's say speaking of crown, you want more of that? Crown? Crown? That I could drink, probably crown? drink crown. Anytime all. somebody mentions it, let's just say drunk word of the day. Yeah, I could drink beer all day. I just probably shouldn't drive. Because that point zero eight does not give you much room for error, man. No, dude. Yes. That's what I'm afraid of. Is like, no, like I get pulled shadow, over man. because that uh, I made a stupid the mistake. Looked a little more creepier. What? That you all talking about Shadow Man, that basement looking a little more creepier. Dude, I want to go. Me and Dan actually went to Bobby Mackey's. Yeah, I know. You said you ate there or drank. Was... Yeah, it was fucking cool. So, although the one thing about it is Bobby Mackey's smells like piss. I do have to say that. I think it might be the AO. AO? Area of operation. Ooh. This is area. Certain areas have smells just based on like geography or whatever. Where's Bobby Mackey? That place took a small. Uh, Cincinnati, pretty much. Cincinnati, Ohio? Yeah, I got some Skyline Chili. Nice. It was good. I took a smaller city. sip that time. Oh, we... Hit my window. Oh, my God. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Big sexy on you. I'm bucking with Mike tonight. <laughs> Three pounds of bed, he's sleeping in bed. He's gonna carry your skinny ass. He's probably just 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 gonna, have one, right. he's gonna have no problem picking my ass up. <laughs> so, <laughs> this will be easy. Alright, the one thing I'm confused about did you, you, Joe, and Ethan all know each other from way back? I knew Joe. Joe introduced me to Ethan. And then Joe introduced me to Airsoft more from Paintball. Yeah. And that's where I met Mike, over at Ethan's house. Mm -hmm. I've known Ethan for a real long time. But Joe's also known Ethan for right. a long I'm time. I'm pretty drunk right now, but I love our team. It's, it's coming dope. together. It's, it's coming dope. together slowly, but surely. Honestly, I'd be happy if we stay where we're at right now. I think I mean, we need like 20 we, guys deep. We could use more mem We could use more members. But the guys we have now, I will always feel like are the core. But the main thing is... I mean, sorry, Arnold. Show up. Hey... Arnold Lucas, hey, do you actually listen. watch this? <laughs> you you guys are kind of just fillers. If you show up, great. You guys are tan team, bro. Team. I heard you all bench warmers, and I'm new to this. Yeah, I mean, that's not to mean that you can't be right. oh, wait, no. more right. of a central part of the what team you if you start showing up. Oh, but man, until you then, you guys are kind of the fillers. <laughs> It's, uh, it's just how it is right it. now. Do it, dude. Fuck. Are we doing it? Do it. You do you, bro. We're gonna hit this again. All right. Yeah. Again. I got the fucking beer pisses though. This fucking sucks. Well, now That's you're gonna have to whiskey, hey. whiskey pisses too. Hey. You better get real comfortable, man. Yeah, it's like no, that that's bathroom's a, way up that's there. That's Like Dan was talking about making us a. Whiskey. Yeah, that's just so powerful. Dan Dan was talking about making us a whiskey. We gotta take that to Pandora. Yeah, you know, I was talking about that, the fucking cherry pie. I'm gonna. You know, that would be interesting. Airsoft or whiskey at an airsoft event. I'm hey, saying. Dan. Would have loved to be with you today, but I mean, come God, on. Yeah, play. Yeah, that would have been nice we're, at the gym. They didn't play. They didn't play? No. The rain or not? Would have been, would been nice to take that home. Yeah, the so they didn't cancel. Probably, though. Well, Dan. Crazy ass. I bet you blazes. We well. got. We, yeah, so I mean, we, we can still get the patches. We're pointing at the assignment. Yeah, I'm it's not. true. I'm not. I missed the first Honestly, one. Dan, no. if you would have asked one of us for a ride, if you were able to make it, I'm sure one of us would have gave you one. I would have scooped you. I, I yeah, had you were cool. me or Dan? Dan. Oh, yeah. Well, you took a ride with Cody, didn't you? You usually ride with Cody. I went I'm right through, through, on day for the I went right through your this. area. I no, that day you were trying. Well, I was at work. Unfortunately. So you um, the goat. Alright, you guys keep bullshitting, but I'm about to piss my pants in my box. Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers. Joe with his eight inch dick. Ew. <laughs>
this is a message to Tyler. Leave his dick alone. <laughs> his dick's just trying to sleep. God damn. Leave Where the, the mag- fuck is the light? Leave the Magnum double XL man alone. So who's this guy next? That's not him, brother. Oh, yeah. That's the only play you had today you liked worth a shit that was going to the roof. I have to say, the funniest play that I had was shooting that guy in the head twice who kept staying dead in the, in the stairway. Did you make sure he kept staying dead? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? And he got, he got really mad about it. And I told him to move, and then he started cussing me out. And then I told Dude, him, I'm sorry you feel that way. Your mom's me. not here to support you. And he moved. He did. He had a knee, but he was in the middle of the stairs. Like in the set of stairs, he was in the middle, and his his guys were crouching down behind him. Well, that's how I am. I'm like, I want to chuck a grenade up there, bro. You should probably, uh... <laughs> you should duck, or you're getting pegged. You should probably just, skedad- <laughs> you just get out and plan on me taking out your whole team. Boom. I mean, that's what I did. As soon as I died upstairs when we were in the, uh, on the roof, I was like, yo, I'm dead, and... That's the way it is. Is there a, a suicide bomber rule? Um, that is the one thing I wanted to talk about, though. We're talking about Mirror. Mirror puts on great events, especially for the Midwest. Oh, yeah. They got a, they but, have a pretty good on again. But the one thing I think... Oh, you're about to puke? No, I said me. No. You go for it. We'll, uh, we'll, take, we'll, take, a little, we'll take a little fucking... Yeah, let's take a break. At least three yeah. minute intermission. Here. But uh, the one thing, just hardcore, dude. the one thing I think, the one thing I think they could uh, improve really on still, no. is but, watching the players for the rules. Very much. I mean, so. for one, you got people pissing twenty feet away from us. Twenty. But yeah, also exactly. the full auto. People are going full auto like crazy. That yeah, yeah. Lot, there's a lot of people who are going full too. auto that were definitely over one jewel. We're allowed to. I'm under one jewel specifically, that's why I still love No, I'm not saying you, I'm just saying there's a lot of people who are... I mean, all of a sudden, I get full auto, and I'm like... Bum, 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 bum. I'm like, I try. I know I, what this feels like. When I, this is over what you should be for a full yeah. auto. Yeah, yeah, I feel that. I've been shot a number of times. I got fucked up today, I got some blood spots today. Mm. I just like how it's like... It's like, oh, it's okay. But, you know, I didn't... I like it so much. <laughs> I didn't bitch yeah. about... You know, oh, dude, I got lit in the belly, dude. It fucking yeah. hurt, bro. Right, right, in the, right in the soft spots. <gasps> over here, man. Oh god. No. What happened to Power? Did he finally he's just give up on he's it? Gone. We saw Rodney at Milwaukee. He's on the footage at uh, Airsoft Arena. Honestly, and I mean, someone walked up to him and he's like, "So, wait, aren't you guys from Milwaukee?" And or uh, from uh, Balkeegan? And dude's like, "God, what the fuck? No comment." Honestly, like, press. I really like power. Loved it, bro. But as soon as they shorted their they, field. As soon as they changed the damn first thing. They lost everything over. they had, dude. That, yeah. thing, that thing would have been one of the sickest fields around. They like, shortened their field. and then downhill just, quick. I don't yeah. get it, dude. They don't understand. I feel like if they would have just invested into the store and stopped bringing so much ghetto shit around. Not just that, but the people that they were drawing to their environment. But honestly, I, saying, I don't want to have to walk they through need, fucking stereos for your competition. I mean, so they're talking good. about we're always going to be involved in air assault, and maybe that's true. But if they are, they need to start fucking capping high cap. You know, putting the seal on high on uh, HPAs. I'm drunk. High cap is high cap is no HPA. Because well, guys were running. I was playing all day. I know I got shot in the camera. Same lens, never busted. Got busted at power, and I had fucking welts. Like, people would turn their HPA up like a motherfucker there. Hmm. So it wasn't just us imagining it, huh? No. The fact that, that it broke glass. Well, it's I, tempered glass. That's the problem. And like, you got to think about the physical true. weight of an airsoft BB. And some of those You're are so hard porcelain green, green style, dude. Yeah, yeah it's really like, fine. It, I mean, dude, that's that's what made diving go- goggles yeah, out of Super tight and, 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 and mm-hmm. they fucking, that withstands all that pressure. Like 200 feet, or not, man, 200 feet, but 100 plus foot. Think about it this like, way. Think about it this way. That's That may not be the first shot ever taken on that lens. It's not. And that's my point. Like, 
It shouldn't have broken. Though. But what happens when you hit it? Everything in hit weak. anything in multiple spaces. Everything gets weak. Weaker. You create true. weak points. You, you watch enough fucking Forge and Fire to know that as soon as you create a weak point in yeah. anything, dude, it's well, you can, it's, you kind of feel too where you get shot and you know that that's way higher than it should have been. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was way mm-hmm. higher than it should have been. We got hit by the fucking belly button, dude. Right, the feeding tube. Feeding tube, bro. Thanks, Mom. <sighs> I mean, there's sometimes where you can feel it where you're like, that's fucking hot. Dad, I mean, I'm sorry for it. I didn't get me today that I was like, oh my god. No, there, there's a few where I got but, hit. There's a few where I got hit where it hurt like a motherfucker, but I knew it was within regulation. I'm just like, fuck, you got me real good right because they hit you like three times. Seems. Or, like, hit you at the same spot, like, three times, and you're like, fuck! <laughs> that sucked! Is there just, like, a fan mode you can turn on? Yeah, you got it on. Good. There we go. Because, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I got hit by anything hot today, but I definitely got hit at the same spot a few times. I mean, I'll, I'll have to give this kid credit. Like, Don, when you talked about the pisser, the thing mm-hmm. that came across my head was... That kid that fucking smoked me. I was coming up the stairs. I'm thinking, they don't know I'm here. I'm going to fucking smoke their team. And we couldn't even hear that kid step. Because he didn't all way st- enough. <laughs> all <laughs> sudden, <laughs> all sudden. You're a little he, kid, bro. He had been like 12, mm-hmm. if that. Like, also, I knew everybody was to the right. I didn't know he was right to the <laughs> I didn't know he was right to the left. And all of a sudden, I'm going. I'm like, I'm going to get all these fuckers. And he just goes, Psh! I'm like, shit, that was good, dude. I'm like, I'm like, I, I have to tell you, man, you did a fucking good job there, kid. I mean, if you snuck up on you like that and just came out of the corner and pop on mm-hmm. I think the best, though, was at the uh, Joliet prison. I, I, I have to do, you know, we'll have to do a drunk commentary. I think it would be better with more people. Definitely. Um, next time I have a weekend off, I'll comment on you guys, see if we can do a drunk or high comment. I don't give a fuck. I wasn't guys, running man. footage yet. I don't really give a yep. I'm going to put all raw footage on Big Sexies. But anyways, I don't give a fuck if you're high, but intox- I should call it intoxicated commentary. We'll call it Airsoft Mystery Theater 2000. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> can you do a Zoom call while, it's, while you're doing that? Yeah. Have Zoom have, call while you're while you're have subscribe video. Zoom call it. Yeah, I did that for that's how actually how I filmed the uh, my first drunk commentary. So you can have one screen like going live constantly yeah. with the video. Uh, the podcast I did when I showed footage of you when you used to have sexy hair. That show. I still have sexy hair, you son of a bitch. Uh, not really. Your sister thinks so. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> hey, hey, you could you could say that. But I was talking to Joe uh, and you. About yeah. my, a lot of people about say, my wife. Yeah, no, a lot of people say it. that me and her are twins. I <laughs> shaved his beard, I put a wig on. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I like the beard. Ooh. See that, Trisha? Uh-oh. He likes it. We beard. started speaking about her. I was talking about, about her. <laughs> talking about her beard. Hello, <laughs> honey. Hi, honey! Uh, I love you! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. Here, swallow it. Yeah, swallow that. No, I am not asleep. Oh, yeah, wait till you get to the podcast. Oh, Oh, yeah. I'm going to have to put in our battery, and this might be the longest podcast ever because I'm just having too much fun. You ain't going that long. How long is it? It's only been like 40 uh, minutes. Yeah, but compared to what we did before, now, pretty decent. Yeah, Hit that, Daddy. Oh, shit. Oh, he's talking to his baby. That shit was funny. She's like, um, where are you? <laughs> You're with the boys. You get a dance right now? She knows. <laughs> yeah, boy, she was fucking kill one. me. His sister don't mind at all. She's like, oh, strip club, dude. She go fuck. I don't even think there's you know, any good ones up here. Is honestly, it? I think that's a baby full nude. I think that's my mom's fault. Wake up! Drink that shit, dude. Drink it. Hey, you don't have to have it, but wake up! Oh, I'm so fucking tired. Here, <laughs> hand that to me, you sexy. Let's cash this shit out, boys. 
Oh man, I this has been the best. I needed this. This was a well. If Elliot doesn't give me COVID, weight. if Elliot didn't weight. give me COVID, this is the best trip ever. He's the only one of you guys Why that made me worry. Why would you see that? I don't think he has COVID. No, I think, I think he, he has pussy choices. withdrawals. I think he had mental pussy. Yeah, food yeah, choices. Yeah. He didn't eat a good breakfast and he ran around for two hours with a heavy gun and a heavy vest. All right. Give me from you mom. make sure you eat your Wheaties. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I, if I could hit it, I would. That's a dick, right? No. That looks like a dick. No, <laughs> You can't, well, you gotta hit this in this conversation. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, otherwise, you're just a sleeping mascot. What the fuck is in that cooler's, bro? Oh, mascot, what the fuck? Right now, you're just a sleeping mascot, dude. You're like, every once in a while, you open your eyes, you're like, zzz, 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 like some, <laughs> new face some fucking droid in the corner and shit. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh, Carl, even if you and me get like this, I'm thinking about switching us. I wish we had more artists. Dan's an artist. We gotta find a, we gotta find a good artist. Send us some, uh, uh, Fan suggestions art, fan art what some fan art? art i know i tried to look it up celtic symbol for fabian but apparently fabian's a symbol for the only symbol you can find for fabian's bean farmer so uh gas for my ass <laughs> <laughs> leave your ass in the past leave your <laughs> ass in the past <laughs> that's pretty good actually <laughs> like fabian came from a road which is also a Parkway, you know, like we're me and the guys were first uh, living around each other. You know, we're going to start a band, and we're like, well, you know, all band names are taken, but a lot of successful bands, you know, name something from their town. Well, Fabian Road. Every time we got lost before iPhone was a thing, if we got on Fabian Road, you we knew where we were we at. Go with one direction. The so other. we're going to call our band Fabian. Well. That never panned out because the girl I was dating at the time was not into me playing guitar all the time. But I wanted to bring it back because Fabian sounds good. And uh, yeah, now it's Fabian Airsoft, which started there, although most of our members are in Rockford. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> but anyways... You know, it still sounds good, but it was just... Actually, it, he's kind of a pretty bad at... Look up Fabian. How would you spell it, though? Cause how Are you talking about it? Fabian? And then there's F -A -B so different ways to spell it. It's F-A-B-Y-A-N. He was a vet. He was a scientist. And he was kind of a badass individual. Huh. And who, it, what's his first name? Uh, that, I couldn't tell you because I'm too drunk. Huh. <laughs> Like Mike! The first Mike, name Mike, was, Mike, Mike, Mike. The first name was an airsoft, you know that. <laughs> Guess what time it is! <laughs> time for me to take a drink? No, time for me to go to bed, probably, you know. Oh, man, it's only fucking so, midnight 30. Oh, yeah, I got, what, midnight two 30. more beers ago? One, two, it's three, three four, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I have two more beers. Two and, more beers? All right, I need a chance. I think we still got an hour of some JoJo Rabbit to finish up. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Alright, should we finish the podcast? But I'm having fun doing this right now. What do you think? You. What do you think, Don? I don't mind. Guess what do you think? Fun. Mike's fought right now. It's funny watching out. Mike's ass pass out. Fuck off, dude. I got a special stogie roll. You know what? So the GoPro ran out of footage there, so it turns out that is the end of the podcast. Uh, you want to get a hold of us? Send us an email at fabianairsoft at gmail.com and we'll talk to you guys next time.